Uh, you mentioned that the uh, Article 3, Sub 1A will vanish in the next 20 to 30 years. No, what I'm saying, unless we, because Article 3, Sub 1 is meant to, um, uh, that because it is for the protection of the Naga people's interest. But what I'm trying to say is that we are either misusing it or we're not properly uh, using it for our advantage. For instance, we talk so much about the landowner's right. But landowner's right, individual rights is not absolute. Why your freedom is that? Is it it when, uh, ends where my freedom is right? Okay, we are uh, animal, I mean, part of the uh, uh, social animals, for instance. So in society, uh, you see, your personal freedom is limited to the common interest. So actually, 371A should be interpreted for the common good. In the interest of the Naga as a whole, we should try to limit our individual interest. What, is, what it means to say is that this, uh, like for instance, land, land should not be limited to the land Naga. And among ourselves, I think in our common interest, we should be able to sacrifice your personal interest. So this are the thing where everybody say that it, 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 we took a store is an absolute right. Like for instance, you don't want to allow the government road to go through your land, the water pipeline doesn't want, you don't want the pipeline to go through, it thing like that. So these are restricting the development of activities in our in our because the biggest problem in our development activity is the claim for the learners' rights. In any development, any place, some or other, we talk about you know the some sort of appointment of the learners. But when you would it be the compensation for the land? Why do you claim that appointment part of the appointment you given to your family? These are the things where we are interpreting it. So unless this is not corrected in time, it will clash, our personal interest will clash with the common interest. As I mentioned about the uh, religious yes, issue. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say is that, I don't say that it should be abolished completely, yeah. but issue is that we should be able to study this very carefully and interpret it for the common interest, for the progressive activities of the Naga people on the whole. That's what I mean. What you're trying to visualize, if I'm not, now, if, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, what you're trying to say is if I'm all the Nagas continue to misuse the article 371, it will vanish in the next 20 years. Yeah, in the sense that uh, because it, when it starts clashing, ah. because any such succession, any such active, any such law is what what is the meaning of law? It means the justice, equitable justice is actually the principle of law. When you cannot get equitable justice, by misinterpreting it, or by not properly interpreting it, obviously, it will come into the class, everything will stand still. So obviously, you see, uh, uh, by itself, it, it disappears, or in the, uh, in the in the parliament, or in the assembly itself. They said, no, it will start there. That kind of I'm saying, one in the same.